Here I'm going to show you Helton Ridge Farm. This is only three acres, but this is like a weekend getaway place. Let me tell you why. It's a two bedroom, one bath cabin, and it's got an attached horse barn with four stalls, tack room, a feed room. And then it's got this five stall barn down here. It's got a pond. It's got uh, the hay storage building. It goes all the way out. It's, it's fronted on three roads, three sides here. But if you take this road out half a mile, you're at Daniel Boone National Forest for riding. And they really encourage horse, horseback riding. 707,000 acres. I don't know if you can see the, the, little, uh, the little patch of woods there. That's the forest. Daniel Boone National Forest, half a mile. 707,000 acres. There's 3,400 miles of sandstone cliffs. There's ravines, there's forests, so on and so forth. So bring your horses down, park them here. Don't go to a campground. Park them in here. You got four stalls here, you got five stalls here, and you got a great cabin. This thing is great. I, I said to Dan, I said, gee whiz, this thing is awesome. I mean, this is way nicer. We've got, we've got gas heat. There's your tank there. You could, of course, put a wood stove in. And then this is not just an air conditioner. It's one of those air and heat things, too. Most all the windows, this is an old window here. I don't know why they didn't replace that one. All these windows are new vinyl tilt-in windows. Come on in. I'm going to leave this door open so we got some light. Yeah, look at these. These all new tilt-in windows. Okay. Like a hunting cabin, think of that. Well, it's a horse back riding cabin. You've got all the, the uh, laminate floor here. Got a nice kitchen. I mean, it's like a house. You can live here full time. Price is crazy for what it is. You pay less for this place than you paid for your horse trailer, I guarantee you. And there, there's the heating system. That's uh, gas logs. And then you've got this gas, or uh, heat thing here as well. I don't know what you call those. It's like an air conditioner that provides heat as well. And then here's what I consider the master bedroom. Big bedroom. And that door goes outside. We'll go out there in a second. You got a closet there. Bathroom with a washer. There's a dryer out in the barn, I guess for drying off your, uh, your uh, horse towels or something. I'm not a horseman, so I don't know these things. Any closet there. How cool is this? I've got a lot to tell you about Daniel Boone National Forest, but I'm going to come back out here on the porch. I'd have my chimney right there. And you got a beautiful field across the way. The house is very neat. They've got a pool in the backyard. I mean, it's, it's their full-time house. How cool is this? I'm going to go outside here in a second, but I've got to change my battery first. Come on with me. Okay, I'm going to change my battery now. You've got city water. There's a water meter right there next to the road. It's a nice quiet little road. I'm just a couple houses on here. But for the horse person, oh my gosh, having the horses right here, too cool. Like I said, this is a great horse camp or a full-time house. You can live here full-time. Let's go in the back and out the back. I'll show you what's going on. Yeah, nice deck out back as well. And I'll show you this little chicken coopy shed thing here. Septic tank. You know exactly where it is. You can get to it. That's nice. You got a pond. That's a real pond too. I bet you there's fish in there. They haven't been fished in years. And then there's that barn with uh, five stalls in there. I'll take you and show you that. It's got this little ravine here. It's really pretty. Perfect chicken coop, place to put your lawnmower, whatever. Then you've got this barn, which is sweet. It's all rough cut, uh, rough cut oak. Looks like oak, or hemlock, rough cut hemlock. Um, it's all electric, power's off right now, but it's built well. I've built a few of these barns myself, and this one's built well. The stalls are great. Heavy duty. For these crazy horses, you know how these horses, 
you get a big horse and knock around, you need everything heavy duty and this barn is. You've got all this, this big wood here so they don't kick. Now there's a, um, so you've got, <clears throat> you've got one, two, three, four stalls here. And the tack room is up there. And then this is a feed room. It's going to be dark in there. You can't see it. It's not real deep. And it's kind of long. But perfect for storing feed and stuff. Good adventures in here. And let me show you the tack room. Sweet. There's the dryer, so you don't have to worry about uh, anything freezing out here. And I did not see a hydrant, but I guarantee there's water out here. You have to have water out here for the animals. If not, it'd be easy to put in. So I walked down to the end of the barn. I was over there. That's the that's the road out there. Walked down to the end. And here's the hydrant. So you got a frost-proof hydrant. You just turn this rascal on. The hose fills up. You shut it off. And there's a foot valve in there. And all the water drains down like three, four feet in the ground. There's rock down there. You know, stones. So that drains. That, those things are wonderful. Frost line around here is about 18 inches, 24 inches. And uh, you just go down about three feet. Put some stone down there and you're good to go. We've got them at our place. We've got them all over. And those frost-proof hydrants are wonderful. Anyway, I want to take you over there. So let's go there next. All right, we're coming down to see the other barn. But I've got to show you here uh, what I found. Daniel Boone, come on now, focus. Daniel Boone National Forest. And I'll have this in the web page as well. It's just okay, so we've got this hay storage unit here. And this one's not those little round pipes. This one's got those big square deals. And it's it's pretty solid deal. Uh, I like these little sheds. They're real popular. Everybody's got them. There's the neighbor across the way. And then here's this five-stall horse barn. So hikers, uh, you could do four-wheeling. I'm sure there's plenty of four-wheeling around. We, we definitely uh, want to focus on the horse person because I know... You horse guys are paying a lot of money to put your horses up, to um, to board your horses, to haul your horses. You've got expensive horses, and you really love the horse. So that's really who this is geared, geared towards, because that's what these people did with it, just horses. So there's the second stall. All these doors work really well. My hands are a little slow because it's chilly. But anyway, look at this. Great. So you can imagine bringing a bunch of buddies down and families. So you bring a couple families down, go camping, go horseback riding, half a mile. Now I'm going to go up to this corner. I'm going to show you back here towards here. And then we're going to go up to the uh, Daniel Boone National Forest. I'm going to show you that. Okay, here's the corner like I promised you. The house with the attached barns there. Here's the hay storage. Here's the other. Here's the second barn. The pond's in between. The, you saw the septic system back there. It's a newer septic system. A few years old. The whole place is only eight years old. And then you've got this, this, um, this like glen here. Very pretty. Big trees. We've been here for a couple hours. Haven't seen, haven't seen one uh, car. It's just a couple people who live here. That's all. And then you're on the corner. You've got frontage on this corner. And then that goes out to the main road, which, which Ken or uh, Dan will tell you what that main road is. And uh, there's frontage out there as well. Anyway, we're going over to see Daniel Boone National Forest. Come on with me. Okay, there's the corner there. And then I'm going to show you how far this is up here. You just run your horses right on up this road. It's a dead-end road anyway. Like I said, we were here a couple hours and we didn't see one car. Oh, failed to mention to you, 17 or 18 miles to Somerset and 17 or 18 miles to London and about eight miles to Corbin, Kentucky. So look on the map down below. You'll see down below uh, as you scroll down here. And I'll show you exactly where you are. So you're not far away from anything. 
So what's in Corbin in London? Well, I-75 runs right up there. So uh, Interstate 75, which goes from Sault Ste. Marie all the way down to, um, I guess, keep, does it go down to South Florida somewhere? So look how pretty this gets really fast. These are those trees that I was pointing to you earlier. Now just bear with me, just, just a little bit up the road here. So, real good price. I mean, a crazy good price. And a good piece of property. Nice level road. Jeez, here you are. This is fantastic. There you go. Single lane road. There you go. And here we are. Now, we're just two miles down the road. What's the name of that road, Dan? Highway 192. We're just two miles down the road. You just come on here. This is called B Rock Campground. Check this out. You got a big river down here. Was it called the Wild River? Something like that. It's called the Wild River. Here, let's go check it out. Old Sublimity Bridge, constructed by the Civilian Conservation Corps in 1942. This is a, a steel and wood walking bridge. That's a real river down there. Let me tell you what. That's uh, that's at least 150, 200 feet wide, and look at that. There's a little rock bluff up there. And this is where you can come riding your horses. It's one of the campgrounds in Daniel Boone National Forest. 707,000 acres. Pretty impressive. It's been this is the wettest, second wettest year we've had in the history of Kentucky. So everything's muddy and and the branches are everywhere. It's a mess. Anyway, how pretty. All right, that's all I'm going to show you now about this property. You have to read about the rest. Give Dan a call. He's going to tell you all about it and uh, get you on this property. The price, you can't be. I guarantee it's less than, than your horse trailer. I guarantee you it's way less than the truck that pulls your horse trailer. There's the spot there where you, you, can, uh, you can camp out there. Just ride the horses right on down the road. Two miles.